Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Zoe and I post weekly lifestyle and motherhood related videos. So if you guys are interested in that, I would love to have you join the family, of course. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my first trimester must-haves and what helped me through my first trimester and morning sickness, HG, anything that you guys may have regarding pregnancy, sickness. I have tips for you guys and hopefully they will help somebody else out. So I have a bunch of things laid out in front of me and if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Okay, so I know the first trimester is when a lot of women get the morning sickness and whenever I, you know, quote that morning sickness, obviously you know that it's not just morning sickness, it's usually all day sickness, it can happen at any time during the day. I had trouble with morning sickness throughout my entire pregnancy with my first pregnancy and as most of you guys may know, I am on my second trimester and my second pregnancy and I'm no longer sick anymore, but man, the first trimester was ridiculously awful and I was throwing up every single day six plus times a day multiple times a day and I feel like I've gathered a lot of information most of my time was my head in the toilet and researching what can help me so these are the things that helped me and hopefully can help somebody else out there because I know how awful it is to be sick during pregnancy and especially to take care of a toddler or another child can be really really hard so the first thing that I have for you guys is prenatals. So I was taking prenatals and they were just like the pill form and they were obviously, you know, super big. Most prenatals are super huge and like horse pills, but mine were really chalky and a lot of pregnancy or prenatal pills are really chalky and big. So the number one thing that I recommend is moving to some sort of gummy if you have you know morning sickness this will help a lot with like your gag reflex and just like I know whenever I was taking you know my pill formation prenatals I would just want to throw up just at the thought of it and you know it just made me feel even worse so definitely invest in some kind of gummy that tastes good to you that's easy to chew just easy to get over with and it will help you out a lot um Another thing I wanted to mention is Preggy Pops. So this is pretty controversial and they helped me. I, and I'm not saying any of this stuff took my morning sickness away because I'm going to tell you right now, nothing's going to take it away completely. But these will help you cope and, you know, at least help you a little bit, help you feel better. You could buy mints or like candy. They don't necessarily have to be the Preggy Pops. I believe these are pretty pricey. Um, I got mine at Target. I know you can order them from Amazon, but they're just little sour candies and I believe they're like all natural. Yeah, they're natural, drug free, and doctor recommended. Um, they're sour lemon, sour tangerine, sour raspberry, and green apple. So if you guys don't want to invest in something like this, just go out and get random just sour candy and if you're feeling nauseous, pop one of those and see if it'll help. A lot of the time, if I was feeling nauseous and, you know, you can feel it coming on, I would put something in my mouth, whether it was gum, flavored water, these, preggy pops, anything, and just get some sort of taste in your mouth that you like, and hopefully it'll take your mind off of it. Another thing that did help is ginger root capsules, and this is the 550 milligram. I know they make them in, like, a higher milligram, but... I think what's recommended is the lower the better. Don't quote me on that. I would definitely look that up and, you know, consult with your doctor before doing any of this. But ginger root capsules really helped me um, in combination, obviously, with water. Drink a lot of freaking water. A lot of water. And I know that I remember with me, I did not want to drink any water because it just made me feel even more sick. But one thing that really helped me was getting some kind of, um, like, water droplets, like, to flavor your water, I would always get the Mio, um, I believe it's like orange, Mio orange, and it tastes like a dream sickle. I think it's orange sickle or something like that, but it tastes like a dream sickle, and it tasted a lot better than just plain old water. I promise you, if you stay hydrated and keep your body hydrated, you will feel so much better. Okay, another thing is Tums. I would seriously invest in some Tums that you like, whether it's the mint or the assorted berries or whatever because I know for me at least in my first trimester whenever I was throwing up a lot 
and I mean a lot. I was throwing up a lot. So my stomach was really irritated, my esophagus just like my throat burned, I had heartburn really bad and these just really came in handy and it made me feel a little bit better. So I would definitely try some Tums. I know this is going to sound crazy, but if you're throwing a lot, up a lot like I was, I mean, I was throwing up in the car, and if you're watching this, I'm sure you're going through the same thing, obviously. I could not even get in the car and go anywhere. I dreaded going to the freaking grocery store anywhere. So I would seriously invest in some kind of bucket, some kind of trash bucket, and bring it with you everywhere you go. Because I have thrown up in my car, in my car multiple times because I did not have a bag candy or anything and a lot of people recommend just getting some kind of trash bucket and I finally did it and I just took this thing everywhere I went and I know that sounds crazy but you'll thank me just get a bunch of trash liners get a really cute little bucket and just take it around everywhere you go and people are gonna look at you like you're nuts and you can even get like a way tinier bucket than this obviously I was throwing up a lot so I was always scared that like I was gonna run out of room that sounds really disgusting but it's true and if you're watching this then you know but yeah you can get like a smaller bucket get little trash liners and just take something around everywhere you go and if you don't want to take a trash bucket then just just make sure that you have something on hand some kind of little bags and make sure they don't have holes in them because I made that mistake when you know um, like grocery bags or whatever that you keep and they have holes in the bottom and you go to throw up in them and it's just it's just not it's not good last but not least is the number one thing that helped me a lot and I didn't find this until my second pregnancy late first trimester and I wish I would have found it sooner but my doctor recommended the combination of vitamin B6 and Unisom and this combination really is the number one thing that helped me cope throughout all of the morning sickness that I was having. After I finally found this, it was like I was a new person. So I would take this combination at nighttime to help for the next day, to help the sickness for the next day, if that makes sense. Definitely 100% consult with your doctor and make sure you're taking the right amount of the B6, like the right milligram, and however many Unisom tablets they recommend to take. Um, because I haven't researched it in a while, things might have changed, but I believe what I took was one of the vitamin B6 and half of the Unisom, and it seriously helped me so much. I would just take it every single night. I remember like the days that I forgot to take it at night, and I would definitely regret it in the morning because I'd be throwing up three times as bad. So Seriously, the number one thing that helped me, and I hope that it helps somebody. I pray that it helps somebody out there because I know how bad morning sickness can be. People just think that, you know, pregnancy is a breeze and a walk in the park, but it's not. And sometimes it can be really hard throughout your entire pregnancy because I know that was me whenever I was pregnant with Wilder, my, my first this is my second pregnancy and I have been blessed to have no morning sickness throughout my second trimester and hopefully my third but I feel for those that are watching this video and are trying to find something to cope and I hope something in this video will help you guys and if it did please go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know how it worked out for you or what didn't work for you. Anyways guys, I think that is all for today's video. I really hope something helps one of you guys out there. And if it did, like I said, please go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know if it did or didn't help you. I would love to know. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.